everybody, my name is Krista Holmans and I'm the Neurodivergent Rebel. When I was 29, I was suffer suffering from autistic burnout and was diagnosed autistic and only really started to get my life on track when I started to live a more authentic autistic lifestyle. And a big essential part of that for me is learning not to be ashamed of the things that make me autistic and learning to be okay with and accepting of my weaknesses. And also, I've had to learn more about appreciating and focusing on my strengths. Because I've found that for me personally, when I get too focused on all the areas in which I struggle or could potentially do better, I lose sight of all the things that I'm good at and it can put me in a really bad headspace and it's not good for my self-esteem. I don't think I'm alone in this. A lot of people, if they get too stuck on their problems, can get into a place that's not so happy. And this brings me to one of the big problems with this coming April, Autism Awareness Month. Dun, dun, dun. So what's the controversy? <laughs> because Depending on who you talk to, Autism Awareness Month might sound like, oh, this is a great idea. We're gonna array, 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 a little, a little, words, words. We're gonna raise awareness for autism. But let's look at this a little bit deeper and what that actually means. Unfortunately, historically, you know, in April, we have these awareness campaigns and they, tend to spread fear and have a very negative narrative where it says, be aware of autism. It's this thing we all have to fear. And as an autistic person, despite the fact that yes, there are some things that are difficult and some aspects really can be disabling, it doesn't mean I would ever want to give up being autistic. I am an autistic person. It's just a part of who I am. My strengths and my weaknesses are equally tied into being autistic. And there's a duality there that is almost always lost on medical professionals and people who write these diagnostic handbooks. For example, autistic focus. It is definitely my biggest strength and at the same time my biggest weakness. There is a duality there that I cannot define. But when we look in the medical textbooks and they talk about this, all they say is, you know, abnormal focus, uh, fixated repetitive interest, all of this gloom and doom, fear, neg negative, you know, they're not talking about the fact that, yeah, okay, I can be so focused that, you know, I forget to have relationships with people who care about me and I can forget to go to the bathroom and eat because I am so in the zone. Yeah, okay, those things are true. But that focus is also where all of my creativity comes from. It is where all of my deep thinking happens. It is my biggest strength. It is there's there's a duality to it. It's not good. It's not bad. It just is. It is part of my and many autistic people's experience. The other problem with April and Autism Awareness Month is the Light Up Blue campaign that supports an organization in America that has a very bad history of being the organization that propels all of these really, really gloom and doom type of stories and narratives talking about how, you know, autistic um, kids' parents are going to get divorced because their parents have such a hard life because their kids are autistic. Excuse me, you, with non-autistic kids, you tell them, oh, it's not your fault your mommy and daddy got divorced. Like, we know it's not something you would ever put on a child. Why is that okay with autistic kids? It's not, it's not okay at all. So that's another problem. And the other thing is the blue. Blue 
was the color of this organization that shall not be named. Mm. You guys know who they are. We won't give them credit. But this organization originally has this blue logo that perpetuates the myth that only autistic little boys are autistic, ignoring the fact that people of any gender can be autistic and that adults can be autistic and that these autistic kids will eventually grow up and become autistic adults. We're here. We're autistic. Get used to it. Okay, people? We're here. And then the, 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 the other problem that we have, you know, with these, this organization and a lot of these awareness fear-mongering campaigns is, yes, they are Voldemort. <laughs> That is the winning comment of the day. That is not what I was going to say. But they're evil. They are peddling therapies and quack cures and all of these things by scaring parents of newly diagnosed autistic children saying, if you don't get this therapy, your child will never be normal. But normal shouldn't be the goal. There is no normal child hiding under the autistic child. There, there's not a normal child in there. You have an autistic child. Autistic people were born autistic. We will be autistic our entire lives. I didn't know I was autistic for 29 years before I was diagnosed, but I was still autistic for 29 years. And I will be autistic when I am a gray haired person in the grave. I will still have, well, I guess maybe when I'm dead, I might not be autistic anymore. I mean, my brain isn't on that, but I mean, I don't know, but I, I will be autistic until the day I die, at least. <laughs> maybe if I'm reincarnated, if, if that happens, I will come back autistic. I have no idea, but at least from birth to death, you are autistic. And despite the fact that the ways we interpret and interact with the world and how we cope may evolve and it may change throughout the world, We've still got that basic autistic nature and being true to that nature and going with your autistic nature, respecting yourself as a sensory being, respecting your limits and have being, letting yourself say, it's okay just to be me is so important and that is not the message that these kids get when they're put into these therapies that are supposed to make them normal or less autistic or appear normal. It sends a message that really just stabs at the self-esteem of that individual that who they are naturally isn't good enough. So Though that's the problem with Autism Awareness Month and why a lot of people, autistic people, really dislike April. If you want to help this month, there are other hashtags you can participate in that support autistic people. Uh, there is the Our Golden Mo Moment uh, Right Now movement that is going. There is Going Gold. There is Red Instead. There is I, I have the hashtag that I've put up and I don't think it's mine, but I, I don't want to claim it, but I use is anything but blue. <laughs> but really, you know, what you can do is, you know, when you see someone sharing something this month, read it, look at it and see, does this paint autism like something we need to be afraid of? Does this respect autistic people? Is this an autistic voice speaking? Or is this a non-autistic person speaking about autistic people? Because this month, I think it's about time that we let autistic people share what autism is and speak for ourselves. And we need your help if you are not autistic, and even if you are autistic, to help amplify our voices and share autistic perspectives this month in April. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with this quick live. Uh, I just had a few thoughts and I wanted to get them out here really quick as we are getting into this month that I'm eating hair.
because that's delicious. It tastes like blue. Ah, not really. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much. You be safe, be well. I hope you are surviving okay in quarantine. Um, until next time, I'll talk to you next week. Mm -hmm.